be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord at that time when many of the disciples of jesus heard it they said this is a hard saying who can listen to it but jesus knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this said to them do you take offense at this then what if you were to see the son of man ascending to where he was before it is the spirit who gives life the flesh is no help at all the words that i have spoken to you are spirit and life but there are some of you who do not believe but jesus knew from the beginning who those were who did not believe and who it was who would betray him and he said this is why i told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the father after this many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him so jesus said to the 12 do you want to go away as well simon peter answered him Lord to whom shall we go you have the words of eternal life and we have believed and have come to know that you are the holy one of god the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear sisters and brothers in the risen Lord Jesus Christ you now we've been hearing from this chapter of the gospel of John chapter 6 from last friday onwards you know it's very interesting you know how the entire experience of the disciples with the lord is you now a big multitude has been following jesus and after jesus does that miracle of multiplying bread and fish you know they have their fill and they go home satisfied but they come seeking jesus not because you know they have seen something spiritual in him but they are still longing for that bread for something that is very worldly that's why they come seeking jesus they go in search of him jesus tells them you know you have come not because you have seen the signs but you are longing for the bread because you had your fill of loaves you know this is one side wherein the disciples are coming towards jesus and then comes is bread of life discourse and wherein he is trying to bring in something much much deeper he tells that i am the one who has come down from heaven i am the bread of life and i am giving my flesh for the life of the world and my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink and he goes on that way and these disciples are unable to understand they are unable to comprehend they are, they are asking you know this is a very hard saying who can listen to it how can any man give his own flesh and blood as food and drink it goes on and uh, that's what we heard in today's gospel a good number of disciples in fact many of his disciples no longer walked with him perhaps they came looking for something that was so very fulfilling their needs their physical needs and maybe to some extent emotional needs but jesus is trying to drive home something that is much much deeper and we have a very very inspiring response in the person of peter today when the lord asks are you also thinking of leaving me peter says 
Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. What a beautiful response. Here was Peter who has gradually matured in his relationship with the Lord. You know, he was so very impulsive. Lord, we have left everything for you. And is there anything for us? And, you know, he would say, I'm ready to do anything for you. And, uh, you know, this should not happen to you. And we n know from Peter's uh, nature and behavior, was so impulsive, he never give it a thought. But over a period of time, he has matured and he is giving this response. Lord, to whom shall we go? For you have the words of eternal life. He has realized in the person of Jesus that he is the Holy One of God, the true Messiah who can fulfill all the deepest longing, not the physical, not the emotional, perhaps even the psychological, but the real spiritual, the longing of the soul. And once he is stuck to it, you know, there is nothing more that he has to look for. He has all the fulfillment that he is looking for. So, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, are we seeking Jesus like the disciples who had their fill of loaves? And we are going after Jesus because he can fulfill some of my worldly desires. I need a better job. I need financial security or I am looking for an alliance. I need to settle down in life. Now, these are something that pertains to the world. But Jesus has come for something greater. That's why he keeps on reiterating, I have come that you may have life. And not just this life, but eternal life. And he has the words of eternal life. And when we come to Jesus, he can and he is the only one who can fulfill the longing of the soul. And that is to be in constant communion with the Lord, to savor his sweetness and to experience him. The union with the Lord is something which is out of the world. While we look for something that is within Jesus is offering us something that is much, much beyond, way out of the world. So we ask ourselves, what are some of the ways in which we try to seek Jesus, come to him? And we need to, like Peter, realize what is the purpose Jesus has come for. And we have to come to this realization and say to the Lord, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of the eternal life. You have fulfilled all the desires and the deepest longing of my soul.